In this next series of lectures, we're going to be focusing on forms, specifically testable forms, and how you can separate your business logic from your UI logic. We're going to be building this form here. It is a patient form, so maybe we're working in a hospital setting, and both the fields are currently required and they have an error message, so the submit button is disabled. If I go ahead and enter my name, that field is going to become valid, and you can see in the debug information, this is now valid as well. I'm going to enter my weight, let's say I'm 30 kilograms, and everything is now good. If I change from kilograms to pounds, however, this is going to become invalid. So we're going to have dynamic validation on the size or the weight of the patient as well. Let's go ahead and start scaffolding our project and get started. I am going to be using Vue for my UI layer. However, we may also build an alternative React UI layer. And the reason we're going to do this is to really make sure we have actually correctly separated our UI logic and our business logic. If we've done that correctly, we should have no problem building a second UI. So the first thing I'm going to do is scaffold my project. I'm using the Vue CLI for my development environment. Currently I'm on this version and you can create a new project by running Vue create. I'm going to call my one forms and I'm just going to say overwrite because I already have a project. I'm actually going to say merge. So the settings you're going to want is in manually select features. We're going to use Babel and we're going to use unit testing and that's all you're going to need. I'm going to use Vue 3, which is the latest version. I'm also going to use Jess for my testing framework. It doesn't really matter which option you choose here. And that's all you need to do. I'm not going to run this because I've already uh, run this and installed everything, but you can go ahead and do that if you'd like to follow along. Next, you need to CD into your folder and I'm just going to run yarn test unit. And if everything passes here, you've set up everything correctly and we can move on to the next lecture and start writing some code.